right answer key for module two and three for the lizard evolution virtual lab. So module two, we kind of did for you. Um, and the phylogenetic tree is on your handout. Um, here are the prompts. In your own words, summarize the procedure of this experiment. Um, so what I wrote, the scientist, scientist took a male and a female pair of ground trunk anoles from the iron clay, which was the mainland, and placed them on seven smaller islands that did not have any anoles. These small islands had different habitats, so bushes and grasses rather than trees. Every year for four years, scientists collected data from the iron K and from the small populations of the seven islands. And then they took some specimens back to their lab and recorded various measurements, which you guys also recorded. Number two, explain how you calculated relative hind limb length. That's the hind limb length divided by the body length. What conclusions can you draw from the graph? Over these generations, the lizards on the experimental islands average time limb, hind limb length decreased. Um, so that's evidence of evolution, change over time. Number four, based on what you know about the experimental islands and the lizards that were placed on these islands, explain how and why the average leg length of the population might change over time. Include the concept of natural selection. So what I wrote here, the selective pressure was the environment. So the height of the trees cha changed drastically. They went from tall trees to shrubs and grasses. The anole lizards with the small hind limbs were more fit for this new experimental island, for this new environment, because the size of the trees. Therefore, the population changed over many generations and the small hind limb phenotype became more common. Number five, if the population from one experimental island were reintroduced on the original island, do you predict that the lizards from the two populations was, would still mate and reproduce? Justify your answer. Um, so I wrote, it depends on how many generations have passed. Further testing to see if these two groups are the same species would need to be done. However, if they can't mate due to geography, they would be considered separate species. So if they don't have the opportunity to mate and reproduce, they are considered separate species. Um, number six, classify this experiment as one of the two types of speciation, allopatric or sympatric. So this would be allopatric speciation because the groups were isolated. They were separated geographically by water. Uh, they would not be able to um, have the opportunity to come into contact with each other and mate. What type of reproductive isolation mechanism occurred here? This is geographic isolation. These two groups are isolated by a barrier, again, water. If it's allopatric speciation, the um, isolation mechanism has to be geographic. And I say that again. If the type of speciation is allopatric, the mechanism has to be geographic. Uh, number eight, use evidence from the scenario and the data um, below to support explanations that organisms with an advantageous trait tend to increase proportion to organisms that lack it. So what I wrote here, as the body length of the anole lizards increased, so did survivability. Looking at the data, you can see that a body length of 12 centimeters has a survivability rate of 346 individuals per year. But 21 centimeters, the survival, survivability rate is 599. Um, those with a longer body length are able to survive better and pass on this trait. Thus, it increases in the population, while those lacking the trait tend to decrease in the population. Okay, let me know if you have any further questions.